Okay, this is how we try it. We try it with uh, potato salad on top of the gumbo, right? Yep. Right? Yep. And what's the reason for that? Damn good. That's right, you guys. You heard that. Damn good. Look at this. Just like that. OMG. Oh. My. Goodness. That's what I'm talking about. Take a look at that. Hello, and welcome to Grilling and Chilling with Mojo. Hey, uh, I had a buddy that uh, wanted me to make some ribs. And I thought they were going to be beef ribs. And I was like, dude, I haven't even made beef ribs yet. So, or smoked beef ribs. And, you know, I'm like, dude, I really want to do it. Well, he wanted, like, the uh, baby back ribs. And I'm like, okay. So we're going to... We're gonna smoke a couple uh, racks of baby back ribs on the pit barrel. And uh, I'm guessing it's gonna take about three hours. I've never done this before. I've only did a burn off on this thing. So this is my first cook and excuse me. I have one of these. What's going on out here? Humidity in Mississippi. So new experience here too so let's go ahead we're going to go ahead and get this charcoal going and then <clears throat> we'll do these ribs up and season them up with a couple of different seasonings and um why the charcoals are getting ready and coming up to temp we'll do that a couple of the uh, seasonings that i have here is uh meat church's uh, texas sugar meat rub we're gonna try that on one of them and then a Kansas City barbecue rub. We'll give those two a try uh, pretty much because I moved and I don't have much seasonings inside my cupboard. Um, that's what I found. So first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and pat dry this. Too wet. Take this membrane off actually uh, Cut this excess stuff off. Maybe like loose ends that are gonna burn. We don't want that and falling off. Okay, so let's go ahead, uh, put a little bit of mustard on this as a binder. This is Kansas City. Get all the sides. Cut it in there. And I'll probably spritz this like in about 45 minutes to an hour. Now the two sauces that I'm going to be using, making is a white Alabama sauce and a um, a Carolina sauce meat church going on here right now the Texas uh, sugar barbecue going on here um, but uh, Sam the cooking guy kind of inspired me to uh, start cooking and stuff like that and it's you know it's way back in the day I'm not not way back in the day but um, I've always loved to cook but he just really inspired me and I've told him I've emailed him a few times and you know, talked to his son a couple times, but uh, super, uh, super cool guy. All right, there we go. There we go. Just flip these guys over. It's so high right now. All right, let's go ahead and get our hooks in here. And we want to go on the thicker part of this. We want to go about two bones in.
We're going to drop this bucket in there. Uh, it's about three quarters of the way full. A couple of chunks of wood of hickory. Drop that down there. I'm going to give that, I'm going to crack this lid a little bit for airflow, but I'm going to give it probably a good 10 minutes to bring it up to temperature. Echo sent it a timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. Okay, there we go. Check back here in about 45 minutes. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and make our sauces. Okay, let's go ahead and make this uh, white Alabama sauce here. So, okay, so we got about three quarters of a cup of mayo, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, Two tablespoons of horseradish and uh, two cloves. Basically, I didn't have it at that, so I have some garlic in there. One tablespoon of sugar and some salt and pepper. Let's go ahead and mix that up and also a lemon, half a lemon. We're going to go with a half a lemon. I'm going to squeeze that in there. All right, let's go with salt and pepper. A little bit of sugar. And most of this garlic. I like garlic anyway, so. There we go. That's enough garlic. Horseradish sauce. Yeah, the horseradish is uh, about two tablespoons. There's one and two and a tad more, just a tad. And that gives it zing. And what I had to run back to the store for, some apple cider vinegar. And we're going to go with uh, about two tablespoons. One, two, it's good enough. Give it up, mix it all up. Looks pretty amazing. Good. All right, let's give this a taste. Shut up. Huh. Super delicious. Nice. Okay, let's do this Carolina sauce. So first thing we want to do is Put some mustard in, about a quarter cup of mustard in here. We're gonna go one, about right there. A little bit more. And two tablespoons of honey. Get that in there. And I knew that was. About a tablespoon of brown sugar. Two tablespoons of chili sauce. And I got a little bit too much here. We're gonna go one, two. Some soy sauce, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. So here's a soy sauce. I'm just gonna put about a teaspoon in there roughly. Salt, pepper, and a little bit of garlic. Maybe half a teaspoon of garlic. Powder. Let's give that a mix. It's basically cooking down that sugar. Well, look at this. This looks so amazing. 
Okay, let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and take these off. Close that lid up. I don't want any of that. The they're looking pretty good. And I know they're not done. Where the temperature's at. We're about 160. 150, 51. about 148. Let's go ahead and spritz this. Get that back side. I don't know if I'm doing this correctly or not guys, but uh, this is getting a little dark there. Right, let's, go ahead, let's go ahead and hang them back up. And we'll be back to that in about 45 minutes. Echo, set timer for 45 minutes. 45 minutes, starting now. And uh, it's been about 45 minutes. They're looking pretty good. All right, come and check this out. About 172. 170. Four. So these bottom ones are reading 190. One eighty six. This guy's this guy's done. We're gonna so probably 10 minutes ago, I probably should have uh, doused this with some sauce. One more try here. This guy is a lot bigger. Sauce, no sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. This guy here is already done. Pretty much, but I'm going to put some of this Carolina sauce on here and I'm going to put them up on top. I'm actually going to wrap him because I, I, he's, he's done before I want him to be done. So just douse this all over it. Good sauce. And then this guy, I'm going to have him hang for a little bit longer. 
Man, look at how beautiful that looks. I wasn't going to wrap him, but I want to wrap this guy just a little bit longer. And there you go. It's good enough. and spray this a little bit again. Okay, let's go ahead and hang it. Go back over here and hang them and uh, put it on the rack. Put this guy back in. And our, we're too hot in here. I'm taking it more close, closer to the uh, side of the barrel versus over it. And the one we wrapped up. Right over there. Cover that guy up. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and grab this other one out and um, put the Alabama white sauce on it. Look at that, how beautiful that looks. Woo! So we're looking at about 181 there, 190, 186, 180, 190. So it's right there. We're going to go ahead and sauce this up. All right, I'm going to go ahead and sauce him up. And I'm going to do the same thing and just, I'm going to actually put a lot of sauce on here and let this sit but that's okay being the first time this is a uh, test me wrapping them up I don't know if that's legit or what but we're gonna definitely uh, check it out this is that Alabama white sauce that we made And I'm going to probably leave those on there for a good half hour. Okay, let's go ahead and pull these out. First of all, I'm going to, uh, before I do anything, I'm going to take these rods out of here. And I'm going to put my magnets on it, cover it down, shut this thing down, shut my uh, 
damper down there completely off. That way, if I have any coals in there, we can kind of save them. And I bought these like magnets off of Amazon. I haven't even taken them out yet. They do come with like these little stickies, but we're not using the stickies on them. And cover up those holes. There we go. All right, let's pull these guys out. They are pretty, pretty warm. There we go. Green spider. Spiders are starting to come out. Birds are chirping. There we go. Get that die itself down. Okay, let's check this out, you guys. Uh, I'm a newbie at this, uh, this uh, pit barrel for the first time. And uh, it's uh, going to be interesting. And, uh, you know, I've, I've smoked many ribs over here on my Traeger. And uh, they've uh, turned out amazing. Um, absolutely amazing. I've cooked many, many, many turkeys on that. A lot of turkeys. And they've come out really moist. And I did say the word moist. But... Um, Pit barrel, first time, newbie. So let's go ahead and check out these, how they turned out. Yeah, I wrapped them. Should have I wrapped them? I have no idea. I will find out. Um, I'm following a guy on Facebook that, uh, wow, they, these look really juicy. I probably should have hung them and made them uh, a little caramelized crispy. Oh, but they're, they're, I think they're going to be falling off the bone here, you guys. Let's talk about this guy right here. This is the white sauce, and I'll be honest, I probably should have um, hung it and let it get a little crispy. But it is what it is. I'm learning by my mistakes. And um, let's go ahead. We're going to cut into this. And I will probably cut like about right here. And cut off at the end of piece here. Now let's look at this. It is, it is still really hot. Um, it is falling a little bit off the bone on the end, of course. Nice smoke ring. It's not bad. That bone's falling off. There we 
you see that smoke ring. I'm gonna try this piece. Woo! Not bad. All right, I'm gonna put this aside. I'm gonna wrap these up because I'm taking them to a buddy's house. And then we're gonna go on here and look at this masterpiece right here. I'm gonna take this piece up here. I mean, it. we'll see how that works. I mean, it's pretty, uh, pretty moist. Pretty, uh, it's falling off the bone. Okay, same thing. Let's go ahead and cut into this. cut off a piece on the end here. Generally I'd let this sit for about, you know, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes or so before I start cutting into it, keep it wrapped up. All right, let's go ahead and try this out, you guys. That guy out there. Nice smoke ring. Like I said, let's start with this uh, white sauce. This is Alabama white sauce. Um, let's grab this piece. You can see that smoke ring on there. Now this is totally completely different than I've ever made ribs. Um, it's not completely falling off the bone, but it's pretty, pretty good. I mean, they're amazing, okay, don't get me wrong. But I like them up here off the charts. Amazing. It's got a good taste, actually. There you go, towards the end. I like spicy, but I didn't really go for a spiciness. But not bad, let's see how this bone's doing. Ooh, hot. Not completely falling off. People like them falling off. Some people don't. I like these. Not. Not. I'm actually, uh, the more I eat one, really juicy, the more I'm liking the flavor. Not bad. Alabama white sauce, if I were to rate it a one to 10, and then I probably would you know, make them a little, put it over the coals for about 10 minutes. Let that sauce, you know, caramel up or whatever. Make it delicious. But um, not bad. Really good, actually. Like I said, I'm going to try this end piece. Not bad. I know I've said that three or four times. The bones are kind of falling off. All right. Echo, stop. We're going to dive into this other one. Put 
these over here because, like I said, we're gonna t I'm taking these somewhere. Okay. Now, this has the Carolina sauce. You can see the smoke ring. You can kind of see that ring. Let's give this a try. Mmm. Oh, see, I like that. Now, I even put a little kick on there. Now, is it falling off the bone? Not really. Boy, that's good. I'm a fan. See, I already knew I'd be a fan of the Carolina sauce. Take a couple more bites here. I mean, it's not, to be honest, I think it's perfect this way versus falling off the bone. Some people like it that way, but, oh boy, that's good. Mmm. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, -mm. mm, -mm, mm, -mm. Wow. Really good. Now. This is what I'm gonna do. Oh, look at that smoke ring on that guy. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to eat this piece. Wow. Now see, that end piece is just, it's falling off the bone. Wow. Tell you what I'm going to do. Dump my garbage, first of all. Absolutely amazing. Carolina, you win. You win my vote. And uh, Amazing. That came out amazing. I know you do the test of, you know, holding it and all that. We're not going to do that test. This is just more about cooking it on this thing for the first time. I don't know. I'm going to sit down. This is what I'm going to do tonight. And my mind is going to think about this guy. And I'm going to do more research on it. How am I going to get some really ribs that are going to fall off the bone? Because that was my goal, you know. But um, they were th they were good. I think they came out perfect. But they didn't fall off the bone like I normally want them to, which is okay. You know, when I smoke a pork butt. And I've done a few of those. And I pull that bone out, and it just slides right on out. You know you did something good. All right, you guys, thank you for watching um, for my experiment. You know, um, face your fears, because I, I had some fears going on, and I said, fears, go away, whatever. We're just, we're just trying to figure this out. And that's what it was all about, because more cooks are coming, you know, and uh, this is my first one. I did a burn off on it.
but it's not like cooking anything on it, smoking anything on it, whatever, whatever. But um, I'm uh, I'm pleased. I'm pretty happy how they came out. But I want fall off the bone ribs, and I will achieve it. I will do it again, and again, and again until I figure it out. So, but like I said, thank you for watching. Hope everybody is having a fabulous day. Um, um, hopefully this wasn't too boring. Um, but, a lot of ums going on. It was fun. I'm going to take this, and I might take some pictures. They might be, like, posted down here. Over to a buddy's house who's making homemade gumbo, right? Homemade gumbo, some potato salad. And I'm bringing the ribs, yo. Holy hell about her. What are we making, sir? Chicken gumbo. Chicken gumbo. Did we buy this gumbo from somebody? Nope. No. No. Are you making it homemade? Yep. Oh my goodness. Look at that, you guys. Best way right there. You see the rotisserie chicken? Best thing in the world. Uh, Costco. You go to Costco and, you know, you pick up one of those chickens. You can do multiple things. Look at this. Look at that potato salad. Did you buy that from the store? Nope. Nope, homemade, isn't it? Yep. Look at that, you guys, homemade. That's what it's all about. Out here, this is Mississippi Mojo. Telling you once again, thank you. Have a fabulous day, and I'll see you on the next cook.